After a long, long wait, we may finally see Google release a Pixel Watch in 2022 after years of hints and tidbits with evidence mounting and more concrete than ever before. But let's explain. Thanks for watching 9to5 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be notified about all our future uploads. With Wear OS starting to feel less like an afterthought than it has in previous years and more tightly aligned with the rest of Android and Google's other software efforts, the recent acquisition of Fitbit hasn't though really produced anything of note, but the announcement of Wear OS 3 has really helped set things in motion for what is going to probably be a Pixel Watch here in 2022. This renewed attempt at first party watch comes as, as we mentioned, Wear OS 3 launched early this year, but only on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 series. The wearable operating system though itself is now based upon Android 11, while Google has itself redesigned several of its own first party apps, including Gboard, YouTube Music, Messages and Maps. And then adding to that, Google is also encouraging more third party development for the platform. So that's all well and good, but as we mentioned, Fitbit has been acquired by Google and those devices themselves haven't changed too drastically since that drawn out acquisition by Google. But that said, we have seen a little movement, such as things as the addition of Google Assistant to selected wearables. However, before we really dive into the potential features of Google's upcoming first party Wear OS device that we're expecting, one question currently unanswered is how the company will actually brand this smartwatch. Fitbit has already shared separate plans to create its own Wear OS device, as well as Google to create their own smartwatch with Fitbit integrations. At least for the time being, Fitbit is going to be staying as a separate entity, at least in terms of product lineup and hardware. The reason may be that Fitbit has a much greater mindshare and brand awareness across the globe compared to the Pixel series, be that tablet, smartphone or now potentially wearable. And while the branding and marketing of Google smartwatch are likely still far from finalized, we've discovered some concrete indications that Google is leaning towards a Pixel branded watch. However, the watch has at least internally been referred to as a Pixel watch and an Android watch among some others, according to some reports online. The codename Rohan though, that was previously reported by John Prosser and initially that avenue was somewhat short. Then though came the updated Wear OS 3 emulator in Android Studio and with some digging and a little sleuthing courtesy of that previous information and codename, we found a series of what we believe to be exclusive Pixel Watch watch faces that include direct Fitbit integration. In total, we've uncovered 10 different watch faces with one including a very prominent Fitbit logo, all demoed here on the Galaxy Watch 4 to give you an indication of what they will look like on actual smartwatch hardware. More interesting here though is a couple of these watch faces were also shared by Front Page Tech in a series of what are believed to be internal renders. This is an explicit confirmation, but it is a very strong indicator that these watch faces could very well be part of a Pixel watch. And so it's easy to see some of the Google Pixel design influences here too, even at this stage. So to run through things that you're probably going to be seeing, first up we see a very straightforward face that simply displays the time as numerals in pleasant shades of pink. The second follows a similar design, but complications surround the time on three sides with info about your weather, your heart rate, and even the date and time data. The third face shown in both videos actually shows the time numerically surrounded with a step counter that gradually fills a progress ring around the border of that screen, likely being your Google Fit data. Notably, this watch face also features a shoe icon next to your step count. This shoe design is identical to what is currently used on Fitbit apps to represent your step count throughout the day. The fourth watch face though artistically depicts something of a landscape with primary colors of the design gradually shifting as the sun moves lower in the sky. It's not clear if the sun moves according to the time of the day, but the watch's displayed time doesn't seem to change here. The next three watch faces all just appear to be variants of each other, and they feature the same design of a very thick hour hand, a thin minute hand, and an even slimmer second hand. The differences come in a number of complications, such as the weather, the step count, that kind of thing, and how they're shown, and then how the clock numbers are shown on screen, if at all. Another watch face we've uncovered also shows the current hour in the center, along with two rotating wheels that represent minutes and seconds. It's a pretty nice look overall. And the second to last watch face puts the clock off center with three complications shown on the right hand side. 
the final watch face that we've uncovered is in the video that you'll see now on screen. And this is one of the most interesting as it features that prominent Fitbit logo, as you mentioned, and uses a color typically associated with the dedicated Fitbit app you'll find on your phone. Interestingly, these two final watch faces are not included in an alternate version of the videos we found within the same location. So far as we can tell, the second video is for use outside of the United States, suggesting that the two watch faces in the video previously and possibly Wear OS's broader Fitbit integration announced back in May may be exclusive to devices in the US, at least at first. And at this stage, we cannot confirm if that will be the case, but that might be a sore point for avid and eager Android fans out there who were hoping for that Fitbit integration across the globe. Like we said, it may not be the case when this device eventually comes to market, but at this point in time, it does seem to be so. Now, as for the design, those previously mentioned internal renders hint that the Pixel Watch could set to be adopting a round, bezel-less design that kind of seamlessly blends into the chassis of this watch itself. And this will be similar to some devices on the market like the Huawei Watch GT series, for instance, but with what looks like a more rounded aesthetic and smoother curves into the actual body of the smartwatch itself. Aside from what is highly, highly likely to be a touchscreen, there is a large crown that we hope will rotate to interact and access selected menu sections and subsections. This could also be used to activate the next gen Google Assistant, as we've also found information and assets pertaining to what the voice AI will be doing on smartphones and smartwatches, and at least how it will operate here on Wear OS 3. The most important aspect of this graphic that you'll now see on screen is that four color light bar design that's shown on the bottom of the screen. And since the Pixel 4, this has been the signature look of the next gen assistant on phones. And it only makes sense that it would copy this design with a delightful curve uh, uh, being on the screens themselves on smartwatches. Notably, the graphic shown also indicates a second button on the watch, something that the renders of the Pixel Watch have thus far not actually shown. That said, this does match the design of a generic smartwatch seen in the demo animations back in the original Wear OS 3 announcement from earlier last year. Either way, it's pretty clear that Google intends for the Assistant or this next gen Assistant to be more deeply integrated within Wear OS than it already is. And hopefully this will resolve a lot of problems that some people encounter with that voice Assistant on their smartwatches currently. And while the full set of next gen Assistant features may not be as useful on watches, as they are on phones, for instance, the speed boost to speech recognition would be much appreciated as Assistant on Wear OS has been quite slow in years past. Interestingly, for the next gen Assistant to work like it does on Pixel phones, it's gonna need to be able to process speech directly on the device itself. And this would undoubtedly require a higher end smartwatch chip. While digging into the references for the Rohan code name across various places in the Wear OS related code, we've seen evidence suggesting that the device may be powered by a Samsung Exynos processor. It's not clear whether this could be the same chip as found in the Galaxy Watch 4 series, the Exynos W920, though far from confirmed at this point, the use of an Exynos chip in a Pixel Watch would not be that much of a surprise. Samsung and Google have worked closely together on the development phases and release of Wear OS 3, with the Galaxy Watch 4 even serving to debut this new Android 11 based version of Wear OS itself. Between the enhancements of Wear OS 3 and the high-end Exynos chip, the Galaxy Watch 4 is the current pinnacle of what an Android-powered smartwatch can be. There isn't much competition there either. Beyond that, Google Tensor chips that power the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro are at their core. The Samsung Exynos chips integrated with Google-designed components like the Tensor processing unit. It's possible that Google could take an Exynos chip, integrate some of their own hardware into it, and then brand it as a Google Tensor chip or it could simply be released as an Exynos branded chip for the Pixel Watch. Now we think that's a fair rundown of the main areas of the Pixel Watch, but what about the proposed release schedule and pricing? Well, according to a report from The Verge, the Pixel Watch is set to cost more than the current Fitbit wearables and likely to compete more directly with the Apple Watch. And given the Fitbit Sense is priced at $299, a cheap wearable this is not going to be. And then in terms of launch, the device is currently undergoing what is called dog food testing, where Googlers outside of the smartwatch team are able to test and provide feedback on the hardware itself. A launch is planned for 2022, and it could occur as early as spring if that latest testing round is proved to be successful. So in essence, we could see a Pixel Watch 
powered by an Exynos processor with your new Google Assistant, Wear OS 3 and with all of that Fitbit integration thrown in. And hopefully that's it. That's everything you were going to need to know about the Google Pixel Watch, at least at this early stage of 2022, given all the information we've found so far. There's going to be a lot to unpack and process, but we might finally see a Google made wearable that matches or exceeds the impressive Galaxy Watch 4. And that is only going to be a good thing. And it could be the catalyst for an even greater Wear OS revival, given the other OEMs out there crafting Wear OS watches that with the likes of Fossil and Mobvoi, they won't actually have products available with Wear OS 3, at least until sometime mid 2022. With all that said though, we would love to hear your thoughts on all things Pixel Watch. Are you excited? Do you simply not care? Whatever your answer is going to be, slap a comment down below. But until next time, hopefully you did enjoy this Pixel Watch rundown. This is Damien with 95Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.